Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making this very, very cute, brand new style French bow. It doesn't even have a name. <laughs> Or at least I've not one I've not been able to find, but I will be doing my research before I post this, so hopefully we will have a name and you know for that. But I will link the template down below in the description box. It is a one, two, three, four, six piece template. And there's two pieces on the spikes, three on the loops, and then one on the center. This is not what we will be doing print-wise though. This was just a sample I did. What we'll be doing print-wise is that uh, mermaid ribbon that I got in the Timu haul. I have all of my pieces pre-cut and ready to go. I will do my best to leave links for all of this glitter canvas and faux leather as well. Like I said, this is from the Timu haul, so I was very excited to use that. Same with this one. And the gold, I believe, came from my um, Amazon haul on the linked in the Gemini bow. All right, you will need all of the pieces cut. You will also need scissors, lighter, the glue gun, and your clip of choice. As always, we are going to start with putting the bases together. I was really careful about choosing the colors for this so that the mermaid ribbon was the one that stood out the most. I actually sat with my stash for a good 20 minutes <clears throat> putting colors together and trying to find the right combination that I absolutely loved. Once the bottom pieces are down, we are going to run glue along <clears throat> the clip of your choice. This is, <clears throat> sorry, this is a two and 2.75 inch clip. I'm going to glue the clip down. As always, if you have glue that seeps out, please feel free to make use of an orange stick to pull out the excess glue. It really, really works. I bought a while ago a pack of a hundred of these and it was one of the best supply buys I have made because I use these all the time. Now that the clip is on, we're going to add the center wrap in. It's always easier to put it in in this stage because you can press down easier and make sure that it fully adheres. Hold the clip open and then just push. put that aside. We won't need that until later. I'm going to start on the smallest loop. I'm going to put glue on the tab, bring it to the center. And you're going to repeat with the other side, glue onto the tab, and bring into the center. side. 
gonna work on the third tab now I'm gonna do this <clears throat> we're gonna do the same thing glue onto the tab bring to the center sorry my allergies are really kicking up today so I apologize if I keep clearing my throat we are reaching spring here in Maine and uh, my allergies are letting me know that. I did not press long enough there, guys. This is the importance of making sure you are pressing down firmly and long enough because your pieces will come back up. What you can do, and I did this with the gold one, is just push it down onto your mat or desk and give a really firm push. There we go. I'm gonna drop a dot of glue in the center and make sure when you put down your prints in any bow that your print is facing the right way. Hold down, make sure it really sticks. And then like the other pieces, you're going to put glue on the tab, bring it around to the center. There will be a little bit of a gap between the two pieces. It is designed that way. It is perfectly okay. Do not worry about that. Repeat with the other side, making sure to push down and ensure that all of the pieces are sticking together as they should be. And there we go. We have the second and third loops together, and now it is time to put all of the pieces together. Grab the base, put a little bit of glue and bring up that layered loop piece. Make sure to press down so that everything sticks. I really love the way this bow looks, guys. I was really happy when I first put the other one together. I think it is a really interesting looking bow and there's a lot of different combinations that you guys can do with this. Take that top little baby loop and glue that down really make a conscious choice when you're picking pieces though if you want one to be the standout piece the one pattern you're going to want to really make sure that everything else is a solid around it And take time to actually look at the pattern and look through your stash, find what matches. And don't be afraid to take your time doing it. Okay, you're gonna put a little bit of glue inside the clip. And close the clip so that this has a chance to set. This is usually when I come around and I fluff loops. Take a good look at it, make sure it looks absolutely perfect, which it does. And by this point, your glue should have settled so you can clip off the excess. And this is where the lighter comes into play. Just heat up the bit that you cut and push down. It, te it melts it into the rest of it which gives a more seamless look. And there we go, guys. This very fun new template that I found on Etsy, which will be linked down below, as well as the other prints in this bow and the other solids, not just prints. Thank you guys for watching. I very much appreciate this. 
Um, we our next video is going to be a Moana themed bow. Remember, these are the princess bows are all inspired, so there probably won't be a Moana center per se. But make sure to tune in and check it out nonetheless. Here is your final look in the bow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. Share it to anybody you think you that might be interested in it. If you are not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. Make sure to click the bell button right next to it. Set your notifications to all so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Please click the uh, please check the description box for all pertinent links to this bow. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment box as well as any video suggestions that you might have. If you do not feel comfortable leaving video suggestions, please message us on our Instagram. That is linked in the description box as well. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next video. Bye.